I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on histogram. In this video, we'll understand the concept of plotting a histogram when discrete data is given to us. The example is draw a histogram to represent discrete data for the number of people traveling in vehicles to a casino before noon. So, number of persons 1, frequency 10. It really means that one person was seen in 10 vehicles, right? Two persons were seen in 20 vehicles, three persons in six, four in four, five to six in two, seven to 10 in two. So that is the information given to you. You need to sketch a histogram. Now here we have a couple of things. One, we have unequal numbers in the form of persons and it's a discrete data. How do we first convert this discrete into a continuous data? Well, to make it a continuous data, we introduce intervals. And here we can introduce a column for intervals. For one, we could choose from 0 0.5 to 1.5. So where 0 0.5 is included, 1.5 is not included, then we'll have this number one within this interval. So one person, an interval will be 0.5 to 1.5. Does make sense to you, right? For two, it will be from 1.5 to 2.5. That means two is included. Now for three, 2.5 to 3.5. And for four, from 3.5 to 4.5. That much is clear. But when we have five to six persons, we could consider this as from 4.5 to 6.5, right? So we have unequal widths also. And then from 6.5 to 10.5, so that we could take care of seven to 10 persons. Is that clear to you? Correct? So we have this. Now let's talk about the width of interval. So the width of interval here is one. Here again, it is one. Here again it is 1. Here also it is 1. However, 6.5 minus 4.5 is 2 and 10.5 minus 6.5 is 4. So these are your widths of intervals. Based on this, we can now find frequency density. Now frequency density is the ratio of frequency over width w, right? So if I write frequency as f and width as w, then their ratio. So it is basically equal to 10 over 1, which is 10. In this case, it is 12 over 1 equals to 12. In this case, it is 6 over 1, which is 6. Here it is um, 4 over 1, which is 4. In this case, width is 2. So it is 2 over 2, which is 1. Here it is, frequency is uh, 2. And the width is 4, right? So it is 2 over 4, which is 0 0.5. Is that clear to you? So that becomes the frequency density. And now we can actually sketch the plot. Perfect. So I hope that is clear. You can actually pause the video now and then plot the histogram. So what we have here is uh, uh, we have these numbers up to 10, okay? So, so let's say, so we have this is 2, let's say this is 2 for us, 4, 6, 8, 10, let's go by 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so we went by 1. We have 12 as the highest number, so 11, okay, so we'll just squeeze in 12 also. Perfect, okay. So, so the first is from 0 0.5, so here's a break, and we'll start with this number, which is 0 0.5. So let me write down 0 0.5 here. So we'll start with 0 0.5, correct? 0 0.5 to 1.5. So let me sketch these verticals. So we have uh, like this, right? Up to 10 we'll sketch. 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so see here from zero point five to one point five. So what we have here is this is 0 0.5 and that is 1.5 right so in between we have one do you get an idea so this is this place here is 1.5 so if you look at it then that is one which we are looking for since the data is given to us one person two person three persons four person and so on it's a good idea to write one two three four right so one this is two three four five six seven eight nine and this is ten for us does make sense to you right this is ten for us so we have one two three four let's write four here five six seven eight nine and ten right so so one two three four okay so we have given all these numbers and now let's plot so for one the frequency density is ten and it will go from, uh, so we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So that is 1 for us. Is that clear to you, right? So that becomes 1 for us. Perfect. Then the next one here is from 1.5 to 2.5, which represents two persons, and the density is 12. So 1.5 to 2.5, which represents this two persons, right? Sorry, so the first one was uh, here. This is the second one. So 1.5 to 1.5, this is the second one, right? So, sorry, goes to 12. Correct. You get the idea, right? So, so that is 2 for us, right? This is 3 for us. Is that clear to you? So this is 2 for us. Is that clear? Now 3 will go up to the height of 6 since that is a frequency density. Let me write here frequency density. Okay, so that is, uh, we'll go by 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Good. So, so we get 2. And for 3, it is up to 6. So that is 3 up to 6. And then for 4, it is 1. For 5 to 6, so that is from 5 to 6, it is 1. And then from 7 to 8, it is 0.5. 7 to 10. Do you see this part? So that is how we are going to sketch the histogram. And on this side, we have persons, right? Number of persons. In each car. So number of persons is 1. We go up to 10. For 2 up to 12, for 3 up to 6, and the density is 6 here, right? So 6, which gives you the frequency, right? So area gives you the frequency. Area of bar represents frequency. Perfect. So that is how we are going to sketch it. So it is kind of important to understand that these number of persons will be along the x axis frequency density along the y axis and we chose an interval to make the whole data continuous so that between the bars we have no gaps perfect so that is how we are going to do it i hope these steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best